We started with eight fired up teams. We fight! All day we fight! Four were sent home early, crushed and beaten. Come on! And then we had the final four. They played intense and passionate paintball. Nice job, Ooh, Hector. Jumping right oh, on top. Atlanta in real trouble. Destroyed in the upper body as a couple choice words, but two teams emerged from the battleground, withstanding immense pressure and great competition. For San Diego and Seattle, this is it. Means everything. The final stop in the battle for paintball bragging rights and the Smart Parts World Championship. Next on ESPN2. Welcome to the Mohegan Sun Arena for the Smart Parts World Paintball Championship. I'm Bill Gardner with Maddie Marshall, paintball legend. Thanks, Bill. Well, I'll tell you what, it's the final matchup, the championship game. San Diego Dynasty, they're taking on Seattle Naughty Dogs. Now, the Naughty Dogs, they're going to have to have their A game if they expect to take down pretty much one of the world's best teams, San Diego Dynasty. Dynasty has played phenomenal this event. They beat the Breaks off Pennsylvania and also come from behind victory against the Russians. Come on now. Go! In the first round, we had some magic. We had some major moves and we had some surprises, but in the end we had the Seattle Naughty Dogs, Los Angeles successive, San Diego Dynasty and the Atlanta Predators moving on to the semifinals. In the semifinals, it was the Seattle Naughty Dogs shock and LA excessive, while San Diego Dynasty handled business against the Atlanta Predators. And in our third place constellation match, it was Los Angeles defeating Atlanta. Today's championship game has the Seattle Naughty Dogs taking on the San Diego Dynasty. Now let's meet our teams. I like it. This paintball powerhouse is on a mission to win it all. Here are the San Diego Dynasty. Let's look at Dynasty. Well, they've got some awesome talent in Angel for Goza, Alex Frazier, and Ryan Greenspan. What's up to all the Dynasty fans? And Tom Martinez, Joe Schrau, and Brian Cole should all have their hammers poised, ready to smash. Rockstar, baby. And San Diego's coach is John Almira. Well, the Cinderella squad hoping their luck still holds out. Please welcome the Seattle Naughty Dogs. Let's take a look at the Naughty Dogs. Well, they've got some top shelf talent in Rocky Newth, Colt Roberts, and Josh Davey. Let's go, dogs. Now or never. And also look for Raymond Newth, Tyler McCluskey, and Dusty Manderson to leave it all on the field today. Seattle's player coach is Rocky Newth. Yeah, he can't come out slow, that's for sure. This definitely isn't a slow field. Ready to go, buddy. Yeah. Ready to go, amped out. <laughs> Ready for this. Live it, love it, learn it. You know what I mean? Get there and get across the field, you know? What's the key? Just play our game. Teamwork. Play as a team. Yeah. Dig deep. I want to blow these guys up bad. I owe a couple of them. They're going to get it. Oh. Nervous? <laughs> Confident. Yeah. Once you've done this a couple 20, 30 times, you're not nervous anymore. Confident. Getting the magic. Yeah. Yep. He's actually getting, uh, getting some magic from me right now. Some magic. Ready to win. They'll yell at us. We're just about ready for the first point, but before we begin play, let's go over the rules for this tournament. Our teams play two 20 minute halves. It's five on five, capture the flag. To score a point, you must capture the flag and hang it in the other team's base. A hit on any part of the body or equipment and the player is eliminated and must leave the field immediately. If they fail to do so, they'll be given a penalty. Penalties are similar to hockey. Minors are two minutes in length and majors are five. Happy. Let's go right now. This is our game right now. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Right now. Gotta win. Gotta take, take control right now. Gotta get it. I guarantee you these guys aren't taking this serious, so hopefully they look past us and shove it in their face. Well, I'll tell you what, Billy, Brad's definitely got it right, man. Uh, you know, Dynasty and the Naughty Dogs have met many times over the years, and as we see them getting ready for this first point, Dynasty has prevailed in most of their matchups. You know, and the Naughty Dogs have made some really big pickups recently, and Dynasty hasn't had the greatest year, so, you know, if, if the Naughty Dogs could ever beat Dynasty, it, it might be in this game. Well, the Naughty Dogs seem very hungry. We'll see what happens. Good breakout by both teams. Ryan Greenspan gets into snake one. Shooting cross, oh, shooting cross field and immediately loses his first gunfight. So he's going to walk off. Not a good start for Dynasty. Colt Roberts, he gets into Snake One. And there's Todd Martinez. He makes a break over to Snake One for Dynasty. Now Dynasty is in the blue. Naughty Dog's in the red and black. Both teams with good field position. 
Colt Roberts crawling up into Snake 2. He's going to probably look cross field. Yep, there it is. He's trying to get a shot on Garrett Maxwell. Now, you know, I was saying the Naughty Dogs could win this match. I mean, either team definitely could win, but, you know, Dynasty, they're really hungry right now. You know, they, they haven't had as successful a year as they've had in past years. They've dominated the paintball circuit for three or four years now, been untouchable. So they're looking for another big win. Garen Maxwell trying to get gunned up on Colt Roberts cross field. Colt Roberts playing well so far. He's played great this entire event. You know, in fact, most of the Naughty Dogs have played great. Ooh, nice After, shot. Oh, good there shot on Garrett. Garrett. Yeah, Naughty Dog's got a lot of players playing hot right now. Josh Davies playing great. Uh, Tyler McCluskey stepped it up. Colt Roberts, Hector Cardona. A lot of guys are playing good on the Naughty Dogs. Oh, Tom Martinez making a smart bump up to Snake 2. The interesting thing about this game is it's going to be a pretty vicious battle over there. The Snake, we see Todd getting ready to load his gun. Angel Forgoza for Dynasty has been stunning people this event. Oh, Todd gets shot out of there. Playing a little uh, loose over that bunker, I think. You know, uh, he, he needs to tighten that up a little bit. And here comes Colt Roberts up that snake side, taking out Mike Hinman, who's left in that back Dorito. And it's all Naughty Dogs in this first point. We see Garrett Maxwell getting shot from Colt Roberts. So great job by Seattle, and they go up one to zero. Play a nice slow control game, got a couple quick shots. Well, drop a couple guys quick and just capitalize. So things starting off very well for the Seattle Naughty Dogs as they draw first blood and take the first point of the game. What do you think about throwing Arthur to the cube and letting him stay there and then see if he can make the X like Trevor did and work with me a little bit? Let's try that again. That worked pretty good there. So Dynasty needs to get it up, man. You know, they can't, they can't come out flat in a championship match. And they are, they're a spectacular come from behind team as well, but they don't really like to do that very often. You know, you don't want to come from behind. Dynasty here in blue and Naughty Dogs in red for our championship match. And we see Johnny Perchek, he's rolling his gun, trying to get a shot on Art Hemlick Jr. who's in the box. Rolling his gun up that Dorito side of the field. Johnny Perchek zoned in, looks like he wants to move. Oh, he's, there he goes. He scurries up to the next Dorito. I think he just got shot in his pack, though. I don't think he knows it. No, he doesn't know. It's really tough to feel those pack hits, and that's why he's a little confused as the referee tells him to get out. Here's Justin Swartz. He's going to take one as he tries to get out to that Dorito side. Here comes Alex Frazier, the captain of Team Dynasty. He's going to have to pretty much single-handedly win this match after all of his boys are dying. Well, Dynasty oh. just couldn't do anything right in this point. No, Dynasty is not doing a lot right right now. You know, they're, they're getting shot on their bumps and they're getting shot out of their bunkers. And we, we see Hector Cardona, he's all the way up in the 50-yard line bunker on the snake side. It's just Yosh Rao left. And they concede the point. Yeah, yeah, keep that up. Let's go, John. Let's go. Keep that up. So Dynasty concedes the point. We see Angel Fergoza, boom, gets shot in his left shoulder right there, hanging out of his bunker a little bit too long on his gunfight. So he's gonna come off, and that's just, nothing's going right for San Diego in this first couple points. And we'll be back with more of our championship match after this commercial timeout. Don't go anywhere. The Smart Parts World Paintball Championships are brought to you by Smart Parts, Equipment Counts, and the Mohegan Sun, a world of play. at smartparts.com. Welcome back to the Smart Parts World Paintball Championships. I'm Eddie Marshall with Bill Gardner Jr. and that's our band PSK Rock in the House as we resume play. So with just under 15 minutes left here in the first half of our championship game, it's a 2-0 score. We'll see how this next point plays out. Hey man, real quick, real quick. Sit. Look at determination on Colt Roberts' face as he gets ready to charge up that snake side. You see there, he's digging, getting ready for the break. One runner. Night Dogs on the left. And there's Angel Fergoza, goes to that insert. Aztec trying to get a shot on Colt Roberts' back. He does, so Colt Roberts, who's been stunning over there. Angel Fergoza picks him up, and then Angel makes his move. 
So Angel sliding into Snake 2. Dynasty tries to use Angel for those gun skills. He has tremendous shooting abilities. As Regasa is trying to get on him. And oh, Rocky Newth head checks, dodges a paintball. He's in that back center Dorito. And there's Angel for Goza. He's locked in his gunfight down that center of the field. And Regasa makes a move out to the same bunker. Colt Roberts just got shot trying to get to. Notice how Regasa sticks his gun right up in the crack of that X protecting the loader from the shot from Angel. Yeah, you can see Angel, though. He's just down the sideline. He's gunfighting. He's trying to get a shot on Regassa. Yeah, see? Look how tight Regassa is. Makes it hard on Angel. Yeah. You he's going to concentrate center. And also, Angel, he's got to shoot nice at more than shot. one person. Yeah, there he is. Gets a shot on Rocky in that back center. McCluskey comes off. He had tried to make a move up to that snake side. Here comes Angel. Angel at the 50 now, putting the pressure on. I think he just bounced Trevor Hawking over there. And here comes Alex Frazier, captain of the team. He's coming up that Dorito side, advances onto the Naughty Dog side of the field. Dynasty pressing hard, creating a lot of distractions. And Frey Connell all the way up there. He's trying to put lanes a fire down for Alex Frazier. Alex Frazier gets up there, a little bit too aggressive. He got picked off, Ooh, but nice Regas is dead. It's just gonna be a matter of time. Here comes Dynasty, full court press. Angel for Goza advancing up that snake side. It's just Trevor Hawking in that back X on the Dorito side. And here comes Ryan Greenspan. He's going to torch Trevor. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, God, he shoots Trevor to the ground. Dynasty getting right back in this match. What if he Dynasty? back? Dynasty keeps that momentum up. Yeah. They'll do real well. well. I'll tell you what, man, it's really early in the game. So whoever's going to seize the momentum is going to take it. And it's, it's going to go back and forth. These teams are both pretty solid right now. And we see Regassa in that back X. Yeah, look at this. Look at the, the accuracy of Regassa is ridiculous. Yeah, he just barely clips the gun, puts the rest of the paint in his face. Yeah, right on that head check, too. I mean, he didn't even wait for him to come out. Boom, shot him on that head check. Awesome job by Fergoza, Greenspan, and all the Dynasty crew. Hey, guys, watch how they break out. Hey, guys, watch how they break out with their guys, guys. Do not get greedy, you guys. We need to play smart, OK? Heck, did you hear that? Don't be getting greedy. Don't start running around with your heads cut off, guys. Play smart paintball. With 6.15 left here in the first half of our championship game at Seattle Naughty Dogs with a 2-1 lead over San Diego Dynasty. Let's see which way this big point swings. And decent breakout from both teams. Lots of guns up. Dynasty coming off a great point. Let's see if they can keep up the momentum. Well, they got Hector Cardona for Naughty Dogs. He's in the snake one. Rolling his gun down that wire. He's going to want to advance to the next bunker. There he goes, Josh Davey. He's right behind Hector, so Hector's got a back man. Now, Josh Davey is going to need to have a game. All the big stars on these teams, they need to have games in order for their team to win. So Ryan Greenspan getting a shot on Brad Russell. Brad shot out of that Aztec. Art Hemlick, he's on the Dorito side box. He's going to want to advance up the field, but you see Ryan Greenspan, he's looking towards the center, trying to get some shots. Todd Martinez above on the top of your screen right there. And Art Hemlick in that box, he's going to want to advance up there. But not yet. The Dorito side, Billy, has been a very hard side to make this entire tournament. You know, Especially and with Dynasty, you know, well into the snake. Art trying to get a shot on Brian oh, Greenspan. Nice he shot. does it. So Ryan just out in the open right there. That was a poor move. Now this should help uh, Naughty Dogs move up the Dorito side now. They have a little opportunity, a little window right now. Yeah, exactly. You know, paintball's a game of angles, cross-field shots. So you see Art, he's trying to shoot to the snake side, even though he's on the Dorito side. And because Ryan got shot off of that snake side, it's going to be easier for Art to advance up that other side. Oh, especially now that Todd Martinez is dead as well. So this point not looking good so far for Dynasty. There he goes. There it is. See, Art moving up that Dorito side. He scurries. Oh, a little Superman up into the 40 Dorito. He barely got in there. Yeah, he barely got in there. He got caught in the open. And here comes Garrett Maxwell running down Art Hemlick in that Dorito. Awesome job by Garrett. Good move. Maxwell realizing the problem with um, with Naughty Dog's way up the Dorito side, takes advantage and uh, makes a nice move there. Yeah, good move by Garrett, clearing out that side. Oh, and then Raymond Newth, he's trying to fill out. I, I think don't he just think got he shot it. in his back. So he's going to walk off too. So now the Dynasty just rolling their guns up that Dorito side. They blew the entire side out. And you see BC, Brian Cole, he's rolling his gun towards the center. Hector Cordona all the way up in the 50-yard line bunker on that snake side. He's in a great position. Naughty Dog still with field position here. 
Let's see what happens. Well, it's going to be up to Hector right now. He's, he's breaking a little bit of paint, so he's going to squeegee his gun real quick. Hector needs to have a game. You know, that entire other side is blown out. Josh Davey out seed down. Josh Davey doing damage control. Josh Davey spreading the field, getting to that back Dorito. We see Mike Kinman, he's mirrored up with Josh Davey. And there's Josh Davey breaking out to the Dorito side. We'll see if he made it in there. Yep, I think he made it in alive. Davey has the right idea here. He wants to spread the field, come up and take the 50s on both sides of the field. Yeah, that was a good job so far, man. He advanced from basically oh. all the... Oh, God, Hector. You know, Hector needed to play a little bit more patiently there. Allow Davey to make it up the field. Oh, so Davey throwing his body away. Just trying to make something happen. Ooh, gets chin checked there on the bonus ball. So Hector Cardona and Josh Davey playing pretty good up until a point, and then Hector loses his gunfight. But earlier on in that point, awesome job. Garrett Maxwell runs down Art Hemlick on that Dorito side, clearing it out. And then Hector just getting sloppy on his gunfight. He takes one in his head. Oh, he's definitely got to be angry at himself right there. So San Diego Dynasty tie things up with the Seattle Naughty Dogs as they take the point, making it too even in this championship match. And we'll be back with more of our championship game action right after these messages. Stick around. So if you're gonna go to that stake, this cute guy's gonna be shooting at you. You can't push him in. You gotta keep shooting. Welcome back to the Smart Parts World Paintball Championships. It's the Seattle Naughty Dogs 2 and San Diego Dynasty 2 all tied up. We're still in the first half of our championship match. We're going to have to, you guys, we're going to have to switch it up. Okay, guys? All right, all right. Make their power line play our power line. So Dynasty and the Naughty Dogs, Naughty Dogs in the red and black, Dynasty in the blue. This is our championship match. Good game so far. It's all tied up. Oh, good breakout from both teams. Darren Ragasa sliding up into that center Aztec immediately gets gunned up on the Dorito side of the field. Ooh, two Dynasty down. Oh, so Johnny Perchak and Justin Swartz both dead off that Dorito side, and Angel Fergosa sliding into Snake 2. So here comes Colt Roberts. He's already up to the 50-yard line on that Snake side because no one is shooting at him from that Dorito side. Yosh Slides Rout. past his bunker. Well, Yosh is just trying to do damage control and get someone over there. Here we oh, go. Here comes Colt Roberts. Ooh. Oh, he runs by. Oh, oh, wow. I'm not sure about that, Matty. I don't know if Angel put any paint on him, but if he did, I would be very angry if he didn't draw that penalty. Well, if Angel didn't put any paint on him, it's because he didn't have any paint in his gun. Yeah, look at, otherwise, the, look at that. Look at the replay. Colt Roberts, break. Colt Roberts runs by Angel and then realizes he's not hit, so he guns up on Alex Frazier and takes him out too. So good job by Colt Roberts, narrowly avoiding a penalty. I'm surprised Angel didn't put any paint on him. Well, he must not have any paint in the gun. It's now a 3-2 to two game with Seattle on the power play. He stays in his cube. That's why I'm shooting at him. He we popped out. No, you were shooting out there somewhere, dude. I was shooting right in here. Dude. You don't want to go run down the field shooting at people, get hit, you know, get a penalty. He's already dead. There's no need to overshoot him or, you know, anything like that. You know, if there's four guys alive on one, there's no need to run down and bunker the guy. You just shoot him out. You know, four guys should be able to shoot one guy. You know, it's just kind of smart paintball. You know, slow it down. You know, Dynasty is, you know, they do some crazy stuff, so you got to watch out for it. It's Seattle with a one-point lead over San Diego with time running down in the first half of our championship match. All right, Dynasty, they got assessed a penalty at the end of that very last point that they we just saw. they couldn't get the box in time, so they, they they're down one. So they couldn't get in the box, so they're going to start with four. So Naughty Dog's on the power play. Oh, so Hector Cardona, Josh Davey getting out here on the snake side. And Angel Fergosa in the back X. Oh, Frank Connell, he gets shot, so, oh, wow. And, Alex Frazier shot out of that back center as well. Billy, they lose both the guys out of the I back know. center. That's not looking good right now for Dynasty. Oh, but Knuth just dies. So Raymond Knuth gets shot. So right away, man, Angel gets a, a good it's shot. Still four on two right now. Oh, I think Hector might have taken one in the back there. Yeah, it looked like. Oh yeah, you can see Schwartz yelling. So Hector has a hit on his pack, but he doesn't know it. Referee hasn't got in there yet to pull him out. There goes Hemlick. Art Hemlick advancing up on that Dorito side, and he's going to come off too. So Opie Logren balling it up. Hemlick's Opie. lucky he didn't get a penalty there. He looked at it and it looked, went in. And I'll tell you what, look. 
Hector Cardona getting checked out by the referee. He has a hit on his pack. Yeah, technically okay, so that could be a penalty too. Yeah. I know Hector didn't know he had it. Hector but. didn't know it, and the, you know it's an unobvious hit. So referee right. gets in there, finally calls him out. So Angel for Goza and Opie Lagren. Event, you know, it was five on two moments ago, and now it's evened up. Evened up, you know, with Angel for Goza still in the game. Um, it's almost not even. And Josh Davey, he advances up to the 50-yard line. 50-yard line on that snake side. Davies better be careful here. Angel for Goza and Opie Lagren doing all this damage out of the back X's on both sides of the field. Oh, no. Josh Davey loses his gunfight with Angel. And now Angel's Angel, like a machine. I mean, he just doesn't miss. Yeah, he's amazing. And here it comes Angel up that snake side. Yep. There he's gone too. So Hawking is gonna get it as well. And there, Angel for Goza and Opie Lagren. Wow, very good point to, to tie it up. Initially, it was five on two, but Opie Lagren and Angel for Goza just deciding, you know what? Hey, we're not gonna lose this point. We see early on, Hector gets a shot in his pack right there. As he's advancing up, he didn't know it. And here's Angel with a terrific shot. Look at that. Yeah, awesome shot on Josh Davies' head right there. Josh loses that gunfight. And then Trevor Hawking getting blown apart at the very end of that point. So the San Diego Dynasty hang tough and they take the point, even things up against the Seattle Night Dogs at three apiece. Every time we step on the field, it means everything. Every time. So 20 seconds left to play here in the first half of our championship match between the Seattle Night Dogs and the San Diego Dynasty. Let's see if these guys come out hardcore or play for the tie here in this point and keep the momentum on their side. San Diego Dynasty in blue and the Naughty Dogs in red. It's gonna be really hard for one of these teams to score right now. Oh, Garrett Maxwell getting chopped up, trying to get out on that Dorito side, and here comes Regassa. Tom Martinez and Ryan Greenspan. Time almost out. So they're just pretty much just locking the lanes down right now. And that's there it. There it is. So it's 3-3. Three, three. And the first half of our championship match between the Seattle Night Dogs and the San Diego Dynasty ends in a 3-3 tie. Yeah, it's all tied up, so this is where the game counts. Let's go down to the field where the third member of our broadcast team, Callie Steidahar, is standing by with San Diego's Angel Forgoza. You're hurt, man, and you're still battling out on that snake side. You and Cole Roberts going at it. What's going on? Just getting in there, trying to do my job, man. It's, it's all about the last game. You know, everything else doesn't even matter. All guts, no glory. You pretty much single-handedly had that third point. It's three to three now. What are you going to do second half to pick it up? Definitely not single-handed. I mean, there's four other guys on my team that helped me out. Uh, my guy who's staying alive in the back corner helped me out a lot. Just allowed me. Uh, that guy just did the same move five seconds before that. And I just capitalized on his stupidity. And that's, that's what it is. It's my game out here. All right, well, good luck on the second half. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks a lot, Callie. Your championship game, halftime score, Seattle 3, San Diego 3. And we'll be back with all the second half action on the other side of this commercial timeout. Don't go anywhere. how it ends at smartparts.com. It's halftime as the Smart Parts World Paintball Championship rocks on. Seattle Naughty Dogs and San Diego Dynasty all tied up three apiece. We couldn't ask for anything more. We get ready to kick off the second half of play. And one of these teams is just 20 minutes away from winning the championship. Let's see who's going to come up and take that trophy home. Winning time! Right now, right now is our time, our time. Come on, D-Y-N-S-T, D-Y-N-S-T, D-Y-N-S-T. We're set to go out there and just keep trying to give it to him. All right, Billy, it's all tied up three apiece. Both these teams playing pretty solid. Right now, I just stick with what's working, solid 
paintball. Get in those important spots, get penetration, get up the snake side, get up the Dorito side. Remember, the size have changed now, so the right-handed guns are going to come into play. Um, San Diego Dynasty in the blue, Naughty Dogs in the red, Naughty Dogs on the right. And Dynasty on the left, and we see Brad Russin. Ooh, good move, gets up into Snake 2. Now he needs to be careful going down that line. He's ignoring Because Brian Cole comes right over the top. Uh -huh. Oh, and gets a uh -huh. shot on him. Brad's got to nice be mad shot at himself. By Cole. Yeah, good shot by Brian Cole. Comes right over the top and takes Albersan. You can see, uh, you know, Russ is just mad at himself right here now. Comes Hector. And Hector gets that into Hector Snake 1. Hector here shooting down the left line with his right hand. Not exactly the best technique. He doesn't like to shoot left handed. No, he doesn't. It doesn't really need it sometimes, though. I'll tell you no, what, he's though. He's a smart player. He's definitely a very good player. And then he gets up at a Snake 2. Todd trying to pick him up. Tom Martinez from Dynasty trying to pick up Hector. And there's Brian Cole up over the top of that bunker. And now he's working on the inside. A good paintball player is going to be productive in his bunker. He's going to be shooting right, shooting left, looking at the different lanes, the different shots that he has. That's one thing Hector does very well. He does look for the right, left, takes his time. But technically, oh. he needs a little work. Art Hemlick gets one in the face. He spends too much time out of his bunker. So, so far, Naughty Dogs. Not doing there very well. Garrett oh, Maxwell. and there's Garrett. There's a lot of guys losing their gunfights. Yep. And we talked about that before. You don't want to lose your gunfights. If you get in a spot, you need to live in that spot. Be productive out of that spot. Make smart, crisp bumps and make smart gunfights. And, and now we have all these people dying out of the bunkers, not helping their teams at all. We talked about how hungry both these teams are. Dynasty, having not won anything this year, really wants this win. And uh, Seattle, dogs. you know, have building over years. They really want to win here. Oh, absolutely. And they picked up some key players, too, for this event. And they've, they've been playing stellar, some come-from-behind victories. And they've been leading so far in this match. And it's all tied up right now. We see Raymond Newth working his cross-field shots, trying to pick up on Todd Martinez, who's in the box on the Dorito side. Now, I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, we've had so many guys die out of their bunkers if the guys that are remaining are going to play this kind of slow, you know? You want to work those gunfights, talk it up, talk to your boys, see exactly where everybody is, and, you know, really work out all the shots that you have. You can hear all the communication going back and forth between the teams. Raymond Newth here switching hands, technically very good, staying very tight behind his gun. Tom Martinez up over the top of that box. And then we see the tight play of Raymond Newth, and he switches up now, shooting left-handed. All these guys, they train a lot. They can shoot left-handed, they can shoot right-handed, running and shooting both ways. A lot of drills go into a, a practice for paintball, just like any other sport. You know, if you're going out and you're practicing baseball, you take grounders, you take fly balls. You know, you're practicing basketball, you're taking shots, same for paintball. And notice how Cole here and Davies at the other X, both of them low on paint. Yeah, I don't think Davy has any paintballs left in his pack. And Brian Cole's back. He's down to one pod right now. You know, when you get low like that, you start thinking about the move. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, you go out there, you got, what, four or five pods on your back, depending on where you're playing. Some guys even have three. And if you play a long point like this and you're running out of paint, you really got to start looking for that move because what else are you oh, going to do? Cole. There it is. Brian Cole get up in a snake one. He's cr crawling around the inside. Davey sees him, I think. Josh Davy. Oh, nice shot. Oh, so Josh Davey catches Brian Cole out in the open. And, you know, Brian Cole just trying to move up field like we talked about, running low on paint, trying to make an aggressive move. And now Todd Martinez coming up that Dorito side of the field. Naughty Dogs need to communicate, let each other know what just happened. Yeah, so Todd figuring out it's just him left. He looks over and see Brian come off. So Todd's going to have to do it single-handedly. And now Raymond and Josh, they're talking it up. And here comes Josh Davey making the move. He realizes it's just Tom Martinez. Spreading the field. Classic two on one. Oh, smart bumps by Josh Davey. Good job. Look and there this. goes, there there goes Raymond. Now, now Todd's in trouble. He knows it. Tries to do a desperation move. No, no And he gets not this taken time. out. So great job by Josh Davey and Raymond Newth to uh, put up another point for the Naughty Dogs, and it's going to be 4-3 to three as we see Josh grab that flag and walk it in. Boy, this is a great battle so far. Yeah, that, I mean, that was that was a gun battle right there. We saw vicious gun battles. A lot of guys losing their battles, but Josh Davey and Raymond Newth in the end pulling it out. So finally, Dynasty blows the horn, and we see on the replay, talking about losing gun battles, there's Brad Russin just spends a little bit too much time out of his bunker. So he walks off, and then Art Hemlick Gunned up, I mean, you know, he, he should know that the paint's coming in that lane, and he takes one in his face. And here we have Davies. Davies looks over the top, 
goes outside, makes a beautiful shot on Cole. Yeah, and he just nicked him in his tank there as trying to get into the box between Snake 1 and Snake 2. Seattle getting the lead. Seattle Naughty Dogs retaking the lead, and it's now a 4-3 score with Seattle up by one over San Diego Dynasty. We'll be back with more of our exciting championship match right after this commercial timeout. Welcome back to the Mohegan Sun Arena for the Smart Parts World Paintball Championships. I'm Manny Marshall bringing you all the action with Bill Gardner Jr. Just 13-20 remaining here in our championship game. Seattle Nine Dogs with a 4-3 lead over San Diego Dynasty. We'll see if they can build on this lead as we resume play. Yo, let's go to the, hey, yo, let's go to their gun there, Alex. So we see how crucial the gunfights have been in this match. This is the championship game, you know, each one of these players, it's a very personal thing. You have to win your gunfights. You have to play well if you want to win the title. Tight breakout by the Naughty Dogs. Good breakout by Dynasty as well. And there goes Angel Fergoza again. Dynasty in blue, Naughty Dogs in black and red. And Yosh Rao getting right behind Angel Fergoza. So Yosh Rao gets gunned up around the sideline towards the inside. Dynasty a little bit better field position right now. Yeah, they have very strong snake side right now. And Yosh getting up into the box right behind Snake One. Trevor Ooh, gets his gun up. I think he got a shot on Trevor Hawking cross field. There's Tyler McCluskey. We haven't seen a lot of Tyler so far this match. He's played very well this event. And we see Map Chim telling Johnny Perchek exactly what's going on. And Darren Ragasa is gunned up towards Map Chim, right? Oh, oh, nice shot. So Ragasa gets a shot on Chim's loader. So Map comes off that Dorito side, and we see Angel for Goza. Angel had advanced up to that 50-yard line. Oh, Tyler McCluskey getting taken out by Yosh Rao. So Yosh Rao get his gun up down that sideline, takes out McCluskey, taking out one of the weapons of the Naughty Dogs. Yosh is having a good game here. Nice field position. Yeah, good field position. Good gunfights. You can hear Todd Martinez talking it up. Oh, there goes Alex Frazier running all the way down. Oh, a little bit too aggressive by Alex yeah, Frazier. He's taken out by Rocky. very happy with him with that move. No, he just adv he advanced a little too aggressively. He should have just stopped at that snake one right there of the Naughty Dogs. He would have made it in fine. Oh, Angel gets a shot on Rocky Newth in that Aztec. And here comes Yosh Rao. He, he went oh, into the center of the field, and now one. he comes on the run through. Two nice moves oh, by Rao. Very so nice. Yosh Rao steps it up this match, tying it up for Dynasty. Good job, Yosh Rao. Runs up, peace out, Nagasa, and then takes out Colt Roberts. And Dynasty looking very good on that point. We see Map Chim on the replay, just caught one in his loader from Ragasa. So he's gonna have to come off, and then Fergoza gets a shot on Rocky Newth, which sets up the Rao run through. Boom, Ragasa wears it in his back. Yosh doesn't even miss a beat. Runs down Colt Roberts as well. Awesome job by Yosh Rao. And San Diego Dynasty come right back. Tying things up for each against the Seattle Naughty Dogs. This match is turning out to be everything you could possibly want in a championship game and a little bit more. You can't, if you're the only guy on that side, Art, Art, look at me. Play conservative. You're the only guy over there. And we're quickly getting down to gut check time. We're gonna see who's gonna step it up and give their team the lead. Naughty Dogs need to do something to break Dynasty's momentum. See what happens. Well, Alex Frazier sliding in. I think he got one on the pack. Referee's gonna get in there and check him out. Yep, he's hit. And so is Opie Lagren. So Dynasty not able to get out to the corners. Naughty Dogs using their guns well off the break. Well, they also lose someone off the break. Rad Russin dies. And Art Hemlick dies too. So it's three apiece right now, three on three. And Hector moves into snake one. So Hector's in snake one, and that's Raymond Newth rolling his gun down the Dorito side. And you see already in snake two, Angel Fergoza, and there goes into snake one, Ryan Greenspan. Oh, he's running right out into his gun. Does Newth make it? Oh, Frank Connell. Good shot by Newth. Frank Connell gets shot by Newth. Raymond, good job by Raymond to pick Frank, trying to break out to that Dorito side. So there's just two Dynasty players left. For goes up to the 50-yard line bunker. Oh, nice shot by Hector. Oh, so it's just Ryan Greenspan and Snake One, and here comes Hector Cardona all the way up 
into Snake 2 on Dynasty's side. Now here's where Hector really shines. Let's watch this. So Hector right up onto Dynasty's side of the field. It's just Ryan Greenspan, though. Comes and Hector's up. gonna run him down on the inside. Beautiful move. Oh, and he waves at Ryan. Ryan's not gonna be happy, too happy uh, about and that. And Hector shot in the back of the head there, so Ryan did shoot him. And we see Raymond Newth after Hector runs off. Raymond's gonna get in there and hang that flag. The tempers are heating up a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, Ryan didn't like Hector showing him up like that. You know, he was like, oh, you wanna play like that, Hector? So, and you know, Ryan's phenomenal, so that's, it's gonna be a battle here the last part of this game. We see on the replay, Fergoza gets his face blown off by Cardona, and then Cardona runs down Ryan Greenspan, gives him a couple extra in his back. The Seattle 90 Dogs taking care of business to regain the lead, and it's now Seattle 5, San Diego Dynasty 4. San Diego just can't seem to figure out Seattle. They still have the opportunity, and we'll find out if they do on the other side of this commercial break. smartparts.com. The Smart Parts World Paintball Championships are brought to you by Smart Parts, Equipment Counts, and the Mohegan Sun, a world of play. Welcome back to the Smart Parts World Paintball Championships. I'm Eddie Marshall with Bill Gardner Jr. and that's our house band PSK keeping the joint jumping as our underdogs, the Seattle Naughty Dogs, cling into a five to four lead over San Diego Dynasty as we get ready to return to the action. San Diego has never had this lead, but watch out for the classic San Diego second half push. Maddie, the rivalry's really growing between these two teams. Oh yeah, it's existed for years, but it's definitely getting up right now because I mean, this is the championship match and both of these teams are balling it up right now. We're gonna see, oh, Tyler McCluskey, such a powerful runner, tries to get to Snake 2, but he doesn't make it. He gets clipped, trying to get in there. Brian Cole, trying to roll his gun towards that inside. Oh, just Guys, narrowly. Nice, tight gun positions are shooting well. Look at this. They yeah, he almost picked up Rocky. Oh, did no, pick did up Rocky. Take. So, Naughty Dog's coming off. And here comes Ryan Greenspan up into Snake 2. He's looking towards those inside shots. Dynasty, good field position here, definite advantage. Colt Roberts snap shooting with Ryan Greenspan right now. And Mike Hinman, he's gonna bump out to the Aztec on the snake side. Mike Hinman still standing over the top of that. He think he's gonna make another move? Yep, creeping up center of the field. Dynasty with gun superiority here. The back guys can stand out and shoot. It's not the safest thing. We see Trevor, Ho cover. yeah, exactly. We see Trevor Hawking and Colt Roberts just doing what they can. Here comes Dynasty. Smart moves, using their cover. Oh, there we go, Colt Roberts. Trevor Hawking left. And Garrett Maxwell. Garrett Maxwell take, oh, oh. I think Garrett Maxwell might have shot him, but here comes Trevor Hawking. Good point by Dynasty, strong play. It's gonna be interesting to see what the referees call in that Maxwell-Trevor Hawking trade right there. Ryan Greenspan running the flag in. We see on the replay, Rocky New trying to get out. Boom, we see it super slow-mo, gets tagged in his shoulder. And then Garrett Maxwell and Trevor Hawking. And Hawking end up getting mowed down by Ryan Greenspan. San Diego Dynasty refusing to fold as they tie things up at five against the Seattle Naughty Dogs. What a crucial swing point for San Diego because you can't afford to go down by two points this late in the game. So a penalty was assessed on Garrett Maxwell at last point, trading with Trevor Hawking, so Yosh Rao is gonna be starting in the box. Championship game here, Naughty Dogs in the red, Dynasty in the blue. Dynasty starting with four players. Dynasty on the left-hand side of your screen, Naughty Dogs on the right-hand side. Solid break by Dynasty. Dynasty gets Alex Frazee out to the back X on the snake side. Alex is the captain of this team. And there goes Hector. So Cardona gets up into snake one. Hector's been very productive this game. Oh, uh, it's a good tournament for Hector. 
Now this is a tense battle right here. There goes Angel Fergoza, he wants to get over there too. Yep, here Ooh, we go. Good job by Fergoza. Fergoza, has, I mean, what is he like, 99% getting to that yeah, exactly. snake almost every single time. And now we've got the matchup between Fergoza and Hector. Should be interesting. Now, Fergoza trying to play down that wire. Now, Fergoza shooting right-handed down this wire against, against, Hector, against Hector's left hand. So, Fergoza definitely with the advantage here. And Hector, who doesn't like to use his left hand. But look, at, look at the little peaking match here. Well, they're doing the head checks. You know, they're just, it's a little slick battle. They both want to get up to that 50-yard line. Fergoza with better field position because Cordona's in snake one. Fergoza in snake two. You can see they're just, it's almost like they're fighting the battle in their minds. And you see uh, Trevor Hawking trying to get a shot on Fergoza. He's locked in. Raymond Newth, who's had a pretty good game as well, is holding it down in that back center. You can see Yosh Rao. Penalty's coming off soon. So Yosh Rao just waiting to come out of the box. He definitely wants to get in this match. Yo, Yosh Rao's a very intense guy. And we see Map Chim holding that back center down. Trevor Hawking on the in the box on the Dorito side of the field. Trevor trying to stay tight in there. It's a small bunker. He's switching his up. You know, he's shooting the Dorito side and then he's shooting snake side. There he goes. Trevor bouncing out to the Aztec on the Dorito side. Here comes Josh Rao. He makes it. He makes it out. He's got some spray on his goggles. Oh, and then he immediately gets into the Aztec on the snake side. It's a little disorienting coming out of the box like that. You've got to figure out where everyone is on the field. So they get Yosh to come out the box. He had an amazing point that not too long ago. And here's Trevor. Oh, Trevor Hawking gets a shot on Yosh. I think Yosh might have missed Trevor make that bump. And here goes Map Chim trying to fill out to that Dorito side. Slides past Ooh, his slides bunker. past his bunker. Oh, and he gets clipped by Trevor. So Trevor Hawking having a game here. And now he, based off of that shot, gets up into the 40 yard line Dorito. He's in a really good spot now. Could do some wonders for his team. He's already shot two guys. Johnny Perchak. Oh, Johnny Perchak stepping it up. He nice takes shot. out Hawking. He needed to take out Hawking, too. Yeah, Hawking was killing it on that Dorito side. Oh, oh. Johnny Perchek, after getting a good shot on Hawking, gets one right in his face, and Hector's here comes Hector. Hector's sensing the vulnerability here. Dynasty pretty much locked in the corner. This is a big point right here. This could be it. It's gone really long. Not a lot of time left in this match. For Gozo, who's been killing it this entire event, he's going to have to pull something out here if Dynasty expects to win this tournament. Here goes Hector Cardona up to the 50-yard line, lay down can on that snake side. Look at this duel between Hector and Fergoza. We've seen it so many times before. It's almost like Hector can sense him. <laughs> so Hector pops over the top and he puts him in and Angel switches sides. Here comes Hector on the inside Ooh, run. That's a great move. Oh, awesome oh, move by nice Hector. Move. That's what they needed. But Hector got shot in the face. Alex Frazier screaming that, to the referees that he shot Hector first. I couldn't quite see it. Alex in trouble here. Alex is in trouble. Tyler McCluskey advancing. Raymond New still alive as well. Here comes McCluskey. Naughty Dog's looking really good. Alex Frazier in that back corner trying to do whatever he can to stop the Naughty Dogs from coming up the field. New oh, and they get a shot. So Raymond New and Tyler McCluskey yeah. handling business off of the Cordona move. Oh, Look wow. The Here come the Naughty Dogs. Dogs. So that could be it. Dynasty gonna have to pull something miraculous here. Naughty Dogs may have just won the championship with that. There's not much time left. They are pumped. They gotta be stoked, man. I mean, they're playing Dynasty. They've been playing these guys for years, and now they're wrecking shop. Look at this on the replay. Trevor Hawking gets shot in the loader sprays all over his face. And then Johnny Perchek, who had just shot Trevor, he gets his eye dotted as well. He's gonna walk off. He looks like so disappointed because you can tell they're going to lose that point because it's just Angel Fergoza getting run down by Cordona. And then you can see in the replay, I, I don't think he got shot in the face before he got no, to No, he didn't. So he traded out clean. Good job by Cordona. So the Seattle Naughty Dogs take the point, take a 5-6 to six lead also over the San Diego Dynasty. And they're just seconds away from winning this championship game. If they don't commit any stupid penalties or make mistakes, the title is theirs. And we'll find out if they can do it right after this quick commercial timeout. Don't go anywhere.
SmartParts.com. We cannot, listen, we cannot get one penalty, guys. It's an instant hang for those guys. Welcome back to the Smart Parts Paintball Championships. That's been a tremendous game so far. Seattle Naughty Dogs win the last point to take a 5-6 lead over the San Diego Dynasty with just seconds remaining. They, they'll have to run from the starting station to the flag, hoping that guy doesn't get hit and hang it. I mean, that's about the time it's going to take them to go from end to end. Yeah, they're, what they're going to try and do is get us to get a penalty because if it's in the last 90 seconds, it's a swing point. So if we get a penalty in the last 90 seconds, they get a point, which will tie it up. So that's what they're hoping for. No penalty stops, play straight. So Dynasty needs to pull out all the stops right here. See Alex Frazier and Ryan Greenspan right there, figuring out the last minute plan. They're gonna come hard, they're gonna come fast. 11 I've seconds left, Maddie. almost no time. You know what, I've seen him score a point in 15 seconds before. But never 11. So here it is, right there. This is gonna be the final point regardless. Oh, they started early, should have been pulled for that. Look at that violent point here, right oh, up the middle. Oh, look at this for Goza and Frazier and everyone oh, on Dynasty just running up the minute, field. There's a five minute, Maddie. That's a point. That's an automatic point score right there under 90 seconds. Look how pumped Raymond Nuth is because they have just won the Ronnie championship. Dogs deserves it. They worked hard. They fought for this, and they have just won. Awesome job by the Naughty Dogs upsetting our favorites, Team Dynasty. Everyone thought Dynasty would blow the Naughty Dogs and away. There's Cordona. He deserves a lot of credit for that victory. Oh, yeah, definitely. Cordona played phenomenal. Great job by the Naughty Dogs. That's it, boys. Can you believe we won this day? <laughs> And that's going to do it. The Seattle Naughty Dogs have won the championship with a thrilling 7-5 win over San Diego Dynasty. Seattle never trailed in this match, and they pull off the upset against a very strong Dynasty team. Austin. They play kind of uh, we're really conservative, kind of like little girls. But sorry, so we have to kind of, uh, you know, pull back and play like chicks too. So that happens. Yeah, we didn't play. We didn't play good enough, and you know the calls didn't go our way either. So, yeah. When it's a close game like that, there's no room for error, and when the calls aren't going your way, then you know it's tough teams. So we're in the finals. You know it's going to be close games. Uh, guess we just didn't make it this time. So it looks like the Naughty Dogs all huddled up down on the field, and it looks like the general manager of the Naughty Dogs is on the phone. Hey, Rock, what's up? We won it, B. We took first place, beat them. We won. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're on speakerphone, B. ESPN Live, baby. I'm here with the coach of the San Diego Dynasty, John O'Mara. What happened? You guys fell behind by two. It was a tough, tough game. Battle, bloodbath out there at the end. Talk to me. Um, we, you know, they played a lot better than we did. They played a real sitting game. We play kind of an attack game. Whenever we play them, uh, it usually goes down like that. They'll get in their bunkers and sit. And uh, we have the same problem over and over with them where we have to uh, tell our guys to be more patient, not try and make moves, because when we do that, they chop us up, then they come back and get a point. All right, well, tough, tough loss, coach. Let's go over to Matty with the Seattle Naughty Dogs, the champions. All right, I'm here with the champion Seattle Naughty Dogs. They played an amazing game against a very strong San Diego Dynasty team. They're one of the best teams in the world, proving that you guys are one of the best teams in the world. Here to present the trophy here today, Adam Gardner from Smart Parts, Bruce Bosom, the Mohegan Tribal Chairman. Bruce, if you could do the honors. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank Adam for sponsoring with Smart Parts. Thank you for coming to the Mohegan Reservation and Mohegan Sun. It's been a wonderful event. And dogs, just so you know, my name is Nis Natea. That means two dogs. You are destined to win. It was the best game I've ever seen. Congratulations. Now, Rocky, give us some thoughts here, okay? I mean, what was it? What was the difference? I mean, if you could just pretty much put it down to one thing, what would you say that it was? When you shoot the best equipment in the world, that's what it is. It's all about the equipment and how everything works, and, you know, when everything's working well, you know, we play well, and that's what it was. Well, that's it, right from Rocky's mouth himself. So that's going to do it here on behalf of our entire production team, Adam Gardner, Bill Gardner Jr., Smart Parts, Bruce Bosom, and the Mohegan Sun Arena. Callie Steidhar, I'm Matty Marshall, and we'll see you next time. Dogs are one. Texas. 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 This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.